Um, my name is Stevie Noviak, and I'm an assistant professor in biology at the University of Arkansas in Little Rock. Most of my research deals with insects that live in tropical rainforests, especially ants and other arthropods that are up in rainforest canopies. A few years ago, my colleagues and I discovered that certain ants that live in tropical forest canopies are able to glide when they fall out of a tree. And while working on that project, we also discovered that another kind of very primitive um, arthropod, sort of a proto-insect, called a jumping bristletail, is also able to accomplish the same feat. So bristletails are basal hexapods, so they're, they're primitive uh, proto-insects. They have a more or less teardrop shape, elongate body form, with long antennae, scales all over the body, much like a moth has on its wings. They have long filaments on the rear end, which are, are quite feathery. They look, um, that's how they get their name, actually, bristle tails, is because they have feathery long filaments on the, the terminal part of the body. My colleagues and I were working on gliding ant behavior, studied these bristle tails as well, and we discovered that bristle tails are able to control where they land when they fall out of the tree. Bristle tails live in the furrows of bark up in the crowns of trees in the tropical rainforest. And while living in those furrows of bark, they're feeding on things like lichens and and any kind of debris that they come across, but they're also subject to being eaten by other animals. So things like spiders and birds may be there, um, picking them off on occasion. So bristle tails will use jumping behavior to escape predators in the tropical rainforest canopy. So they have a pretty high probability of becoming airborne on occasion. So if you are living in a tropical rainforest and you're falling out of trees, it is advantageous to be able to control where you land. And that's exactly what these bristle tails do. So during a fall, when they jump away from a predator, they can direct their aerial descent back to a tree trunk. And that's a pretty amazing feat for a very primitive animal. Studying how bristle tails can control their aerial behavior can tell us something, perhaps, about how uh, winged flight evolved in insects. So the evolution of wings in insects is sort of a, a black box still in biology. We do not have a good fossil record of the proto-wings, or the primitive types of wings that insects have. We have good fossils of proto-insects, primitive insects that before they had wings, and then insects after the evolution of wings, but nothing in between. And so trying to understand something about what conditions were like for those first winged insects and what behavioral capacities they had is important. So by studying the behavior, the gliding behavior of these bristle tails, we're generating more support for the idea that uh, wings in insects most likely evolved on land from arboreal or within arboreal animals, such as bristle tails, that were jumping out of vegetation to escape predators. So the next steps that we plan to take are to study this sort of behavior in a wider variety of arthropods that occur in tropical forests, as well as in temperate forests here in Arkansas.